Please subscribe. In COVID-19 news, the Vaccinate Pays You strategy of the Health Department promoted vaccination against COVID-19 during the three days, July 8th, 9th and 10th. The initiative promoted will raffle monetary prizes among the 23,581 people who were vaccinated. The promotion offers a prize of $100,000, two prizes of $50,000 and two prizes of $25,000. The winners will be announced this Thursday. The Scientific Coalition points to a new delay in the goal of vaccinating 70% of the population, although there was a boost last week. COVID-19 in Puerto Rico today reports, 1 death, 90 confirmed cases, 49 probable cases, 186 suspected cases, 63 hospitalized. Washington, D.C., officials, elected to lobby for statehood, are allowed nearly half of the budget, to pay payroll salaries. This budget was assigned to the Puerto Rico Federal Affairs Administration heading into this fiscal year. Nine employees, of that office, will receive salaries totaling $733,000. Benefits of statehood include an additional $10 billion per year in federal funds, the right to vote in presidential elections, higher Social Security and Medicare benefits, and a right for its government agencies and municipalities to file for bankruptcy. Music Sensations Bad Bunny steals attention during the match between Arecibo and Sanchez. The artists of the urban music genre were present for the first local match of the Cane Grey Harris at the Coliseum. The Puerto Rican pop sensation, who sang with J Lo at the Super Bowl, Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio, also known as Bad Bunny, was the most streamed artist on the planet in 2020. The 26 year old Puerto Rican has become an outspoken, genre defying global phenomenon is often involved in political and social activism against corruption in Puerto Rico. California and other parts of the West broil and burn under triple-digit temperatures. Linden, British Columbia set a record of 127 degrees. Death Valley recorded 130 degrees and Las Vegas 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Many states have declared states of emergency. Havana, Cuba Crowds gathered during a demonstration against Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel's government Sunday in Havana, as large numbers take part in rare protests against the communist regime. Cuba is suffering through a summer of dire shortages, from food and electricity to medicine. Fed up Cubans are taking to the streets in unprecedented protests. The FDA is requiring vaccine maker Johnson & Johnson to put a new warning label on its COVID-19 vaccine. The warning concerns an increased risk of a rare neurological disorder in the 42 days following vaccination. The rare neurological disorder is called Guillain-Barre syndrome. The person's own immune system damages nerves, and it can cause muscle weakness and sometimes paralysis. The single-dose vaccine has experienced production problems. It was also paused in April after a few recipients developed the rare cases of blood clots. For for the second time this year, Texas Democrats have staged a walkout in an effort to block Republicans from passing new voting restrictions. The new proposals include restrictions on voting by mail and voting hours. If if Democrats set foot in Texas before the end of this special legislative session quorum is called, state police could arrest them and force them back in the legislature to vote. Many TV shows out there have helped us through the pandemic, with their healthy doses of distraction or laughter. This morning, we'll find out which of them are up for Emmy Awards. The nominations will be revealed at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, via live stream. In the meantime, predictors predict, the usual suspects up for nominations, like The Crown, The Handmaid's Tale and This Is Us. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see us survive.